Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I want to say thank you for clicking this video and another video in my channel. Make uh, and then make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So for this video, I want to read some article again from investing.com again and the. The creator of this article was um, unknown person. This article was made one hour ago from now at September 15, 2022 at 2.25 a.m. And the title is uh, Australia, Australia's RBA under the microscope in policy review. Once again, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? And now let's get started. Sydney Return An independent review of the Reserve Bank of Australia, or we can call it RBA, is set to consider every aspect of its, of its monetary policy decision making and board make up including how to, how it com can communicate with the public and which inflation target it should follow. In, a, in an 18-page statement of issues released on Thursday, the review panel said it will discuss whether monetary and fiscal policy should come complement each other and how policymakers could be held account accountable for their decisions. The terms give up give, give us the opportunity to make board raging recommendation on the RBA's objectives and, and mandate. The the inter the interaction between monetar monetary fiscal and Macro, macro prudential policy as well as the way the RBA operate, including its gov gov governance, its culture and management, the three-person panel said in a statement. The independent review was announced by Treasurer Jim Chalmers in July and it and is due to release its findings by March next year. The RBA has come under security for undershooting its 2 to 3% inflation target for much of the last decade and more recently giving forward, giving forward guidance during COVID-19 that rates were not expected to rise until at least 2024. Instead, the central bank had to re re reverse. <coughs> <coughs> Instead, the central bank had to reverse course and start hiking rates in May as inflation surged to, to two decade high. It has since raised rates five times to two point two point three. 5% and it and is expected to hike again in October. The review will look will look at whatever the RBA should modify its current inflation target of 2 to 3% over the longer term given it has missed the bank for much of the past decade. Also note was the, the that the RBA board is made up of two RBA staff, the treasurer, the treasury secretary, and six business people, whereas some other central banks have board compri comprised just of central bank central bankers or of mandatory policy experts. Okay, so that's. The article from Inspection.com with title Australia's RBA under the microscope in policy review. <sighs> Maybe that's all for this video. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe.
Bye-bye.